We're open for questions. Please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Left side, Joe. Joe Barton, Cleveland.com. Ty, you mentioned yesterday um, that with dealing with a long layoff on the road, um, that it's a little bit different circumstance and you don't have the home crowd energy. Is that where LeBron came in? He, he had 15 in the first quarter and, and seemed to set the tone. Yeah, I thought he did a great job of setting the tone early. Um, I thought Kevin did a great job, you know, when he came back in that second time of really carrying the load when Kyrie and LeBron was on the bench. You know, they uh, were switching some pick and rolls, and we took advantage of them down low. And, um, yeah, you know, like you said, at the start of the game, LeBron really controlled the tempo, really set the tone early um, offensively. And then defensively, I thought we were really great in that first half. And, you know, in the third quarter, we came out a little sluggish. I thought we got a little tired, you know, from being off for a while. But other than that, I thought we played a pretty good game. Dave. Dave, David Grenman, ESPN. Ty, you promised us that you told Kevin you were going to get him going. Uh, you know, didn't feel like you did enough to get his game going in the first two rounds. Was that just a product of, of uh, concentrating looks at him? Obviously, I think he changed it up where he started off with the second unit in the second quarter. Uh, what did you see out of Kevin Love tonight? He was just being aggressive. And, um, you know, just knowing from, you know, over the last three years, you know, when he starts inside out, that's when his three balls, you know, gets to work. And so, um, you know, the series has been different, you know, and you know, LeBron's been playing so well that, um, you know, we really haven't had a chance to really, you know, feature Kevin. But, you know, we've been talking and, you know, he's been ready. And tonight was a huge performance from him. We needed that. And then he was also really good defensively. So, you know, on the boards, making shots, you know, posting up. So um, we need that big performance from Kevin. Z. Ty, Dave Chodowski, WKYC, Channel 3 in Cleveland. Can you just talk about Tristan's performance tonight? Tristan was big. You know, he's our energy. He's our motor. Um, defensively, he was great. But on offensive rebounds, you know, six offensive rebounds um, was huge for us. And then finishing around the basket, making the right plays. And then, you know, um, his toughness, you know, and his will is just, you know, is big for us. I think his physicality is huge for us, especially against this team. Chris. Ty, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Dave mentioned Kevin starting the second quarter. Um, what did that do for him? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, you know, when Kyrie and LeBron went out, you know, Tobe was going to feature him. And um, he really did a good job of, you know, carrying the load. And, and we did a good job of really, you know, getting the basketball to him. And he, um, he came up big for us. You talked before the game about how – you are willing to give up something. And, and teams in the postseason probably have to do that. Did you expect Boston to go one-on-one -on -one defensively with LeBron as much as they did and, and some of your other guys the way that they did and try and take away the three? Did you expect that? I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Marla. Marla, Marla Ridenour, Akron Beacon Journal. Um, LeBron scored 30, at least 35 and five straight games. and at least 30 and seven. Um, what does just that say about him? Or have you seen anything like this? I mean, he's playing at a high level, you know, right now. And, you know, that's the reason why we're, we're riding him so much. And um, he's really setting the tone for us in these playoffs. And um, it started the last half, the second half of the season. You know, I really thought he hit a great stride, you know, offensively. And it's carried over into the playoffs. And, you know, we're just kind of riding it. And, you know, Kevin and Kyrie, you know, and everybody else is just, you know, filling in. And, you know, tonight, Kevin was huge for us. And, you know, a few games ago and, you know, all, all other games, Kyrie's been huge for us. Corver's been big for us. So, you know, when LeBron's playing at this level, you know, um, other guys just have to, you know, be solid. And I think we got a good chance to win in the game. So um, let's see if we can just keep this up. Renj. Uh, Ren Jun from Attention in China. Coach, uh, you win with RJ tonight and not the changing uh, is it a matchup or is any? So why are you winning with RJ tonight? I don't know. <laughs> we talked about before the series. Um, today's Shannon's birthday, and he, he's, he knew he wasn't probably going to play. <laughs> and he said, that's OK. And um, you know he understands. And it's all about winning. It's all about matchups. And RJ came in and gave us a great lift. So you know it's all about sacrifice when you want to win. Down front. Bob Schron, the citizen, uh, they were coming off of you know, an emotional seven-game series, um, and you came out on the attack mode. Was that something that you guys talked about at all um, if, without revealing too much? 
Yes, we wanted to come out, come out and get off to a great start. You know, this crowd is, is unbelievable. So we wanted to come out early and try to take the crowd out. And, um, you know, I thought we did a good job of that. And I thought I started with our defense. I thought defensively we were really active. You know, we're really rotating, um, doing a good job. So, you know, when we're playing defense like that, we're able to get out and transition and run. You know, we're tough to beat. So, um, you know, that was, that was game one. But we did a good job of, you know, coming out, throwing the first punch. Say anything else? Last question here in the back. Jared Way, CLNS Media Network. The Celtics looked much less confident to run their high pick and roll than they have in past series. Was one of the objectives to really be physical up top and try to take them out of their usual offense? Well, we know Isaiah's dangerous. <laughs> and, um, you know, when he gets going, you know, the crowd really gets into it, their team gets into it, and it opens up a lot of things. So, you know, um, when you try and take him out of the series and, you know, try to make it tough on him, you're going to give up some shots. And in that third quarter, Crowder made a few shots. You know, Joe Green made a few shots. But, you know, our main objective was, you know, to make it physical on Isaiah, try to take him out. And um, we did a good job of that. So when you're trying to do that, you're going to give up something. Thanks, everybody.